started DreamWorks and very specifically the animation business, you know, because I worked at Disney for 10 years, I loved the, being there, I loved every day I was there, I loved the people and the movies that we made. I loved Walt's heritage. I learned the animation business from him, even though, as you said, I never actually met him I, through his work and his archives. Um, he had this amazing mission statement, which just every day was like the North Star for me and for everybody mm -hmm. in this company. He said, I make movies for children and the child that exists in all of us. Mm -hmm. And it's just such a pure and simple uh, phrase and one that, you know, is just, you know, every day to remind yourself, what are you, what, what, what are we doing? What are we in pursuit of? And so when I got to DreamWorks, I didn't, you know, and I don't know how much of this was my ego, which I have a big ego. Um, I don't know how much of it was my competitiveness. I'm really, really competitive. <laughs> um, uh, but I didn't want to do what Disney did. Yeah, I did it. I knew how to do it. I was good at it. I wanted to find our own path. I wanted us to be something that someday would be its own set of values. And uh, I didn't realize how hard that was. You know, I knew, I, I knew it was important to me. I, I, again, one of the things I came to appreciate so much during those 10 years at Disney, but certainly the last five years there, is, is that having a brand where it is more valuable than even the sum of its parts. Yeah. And, and so I, I thought, wow, wouldn't it be amazing if someday we could have a brand? And I never said that out loud because it was such an audacious, just starting as the first studio in 65 years was nuts. Then so starting an animation studio was crazy. And then if I actually had ever said out loud, oh, and we're going to try and have our own brand. Yeah. They just would have locked me up. So, <laughs> um, you know, we began what was to me our, our, what I consider the R and D years of DreamWorks in which we were trying to find ourselves and our path and what it might be. So we started out by making an incredibly dramatic movie, The Prince of Egypt. Mm -hmm. um, there was, and part of the reason why I was excited about making that movie is, is there was nowhere on this planet would anybody ever confuse that with a Disney film. You know, they were never going to take on telling a story about the Bible, you know, a Bible story. And um, uh, so in some ways, again, it was a modestly successful film, but I thought, you know, part of our discovery. Then we made uh, a very sophisticated New York City comedy, Ants, yeah. with, you know, with Woody Allen. Um, uh, once again, a, a very different kind of movie, something you know Disney would 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 never do. We made a satirical movie, Chicken Run, you know, with 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 Ardman. Great and then me. you know, all of these were like, if you if you think about it, they are all sort of like um, we're trying to find our path, and these are the footsteps along the way to f getting to a, a place. Then in 2001, the big green ogre shows up. There he is. And that's it. And that is the defining moment. It's the moment when we found who we are. Yeah. We found our North Star. We found our mission statement. And is it this, oh, I've heard this phrase, it's, the fun, it's appealing to the adult and the child. Well, what, so my, and I say this with a wink and a nod to Walt Disney, we make movies for adult and the adult that exists in the child.